Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Design Virtual Laboratory. In this tutorial, we will learn how to open virtual labs and simulate the practicals related to digital design or logic design lab. So for virtual labs, just type virtual lab on Google and the link for virtual lab is www.vlab.co.in. By clicking on virtual labs, just go to the broad area of virtual labs, electronics and communication and then click on digital electronics lab new designed by IIT Roorkee. So by clicking on digital electronics lab, you will find introduction objective list of experiments course alignment all these things so please go through them list of experiments so there are 12 experiments those are related to digital electronics the name digital electronics digital design logic design all are same so first practical is verification and interpretation of truth table of AND, OR, NOT, NAND, NOR, XOR and XNOR gate. So in my previous lecture I have explained how to remember different ICs number of different basic gates and universal gates. So I have already said to you that it is very important to remember all these IC names, numbers because we will use all these uh, basic gates in our further practicals. So as you can see here that we have to construct half letter full letter with the help of XOR and NAND gate. We have to realize universal gate NAND NOR. We have to verify half a subtractor and full subtractor. We have to design our um, flip flops with the help of these universal gates. So in each and every practical of combinational and sequential design there is a requirement of basic gate or universal gates. So today we will uh, learn how to verify or interpret uh, the truth table of uh, these gates. So click on list of experiments. So in this section uh, the aim is to verify and interpret the logic and truth table of different gates with the help of a resistor transistor logic, diode transistor logic and transistor transistor logic. So I think you have not heard about these uh, technologies that RTL, DTL and TTL. You will learn it in your logic families uh, unit. In theory portion uh, you must uh, uh, go through the uh, truth table of different gates like AND gate, and how we will implement AND gate with the help of uh, RTL uh, technology or logic and then OR gate implementation of NOT gate so all the theory portion of uh, that is related to your basic gates is uh, already available in your theory part our task is to simulate so you can check all these pre-test procedure post-test all these things by uh, just clicking on the digital electronics IIT Roorkee virtual lab of digital design then click on simulation so uh, this is the uh, window where all the gates basic gates AND OR NOT NAND NOR XOR XNOR all are given here so we have covered uh, these uh, uh, seven gate IC uh, number already in our uh, first lecture so you please uh, go through that so if I am interested to simulate AND gate so you just click on AND gate and there are two type of simulator that is simulator 1 and simulator 2 so simulator 1 is basically explaining uh, the RTL logic or uh, with the help of resistor and transistor the function of AND gate is verifying or you can say is explaining with the help of resistor transistor logic in case of simulator 1 
and in simulator 2 there is a basic uh, you can say diagram of uh, AND gate and you are applying uh, two inputs A and B and you are getting your output uh, across this out terminal. So whenever you apply the values of A and B at the input you will get some output and uh, by just uh, with the help of this truth table you will get your uh, applied input and output values. So let's start with simulator 1. So in this case uh, we have to uh, remember only two things uh, right now. That first is that uh, here the transistor is uh, working as a switch. So in your uh, basic electronics subject or in your first year you have heard about transistor. So transistor is basically used as an amplifier or as a switch. So whenever we talk about uh, digital design or digital electronics, uh, the transistor always work as in a switch. So digital is basically 1 or 0. So either on or off. So transistor will, uh, will behave as an on circuit or off circuit. Okay. So, so for, uh, for the verification of uh, AND gate, the entire uh, system is, uh, system can be explained with the help of these two transistors that are connected in uh, series. Then uh, one battery is uh, used to provide power supply and one bulb for the uh, verification of the uh, logic that for condition 1 it will glow and for condition 0 it will be off. So on the left hand side uh, there is a list of instructions so you can follow these uh, instructions uh, uh, step by step one by one. So first is connect the battery then second press the switch 1 for the battery to be connected to the circuit press the switch 2 for input A and switch 3 for input B. So there are three switches, switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3. Switch is on state. So this symbol is for on switch and this one is for off switch. The bulb glow if any one of the uh, switches are off and does not glow if both the switches are on. Clear? So we will uh, see. Uh, the bulb in off state is like this and the bulb is in on state is like this. So when the input is 1, the bulb will glow and for input 0, the bulb will off. So, um, so as we all know that uh, for AND gate, if A and B are inputs and Y is output, so for 0, 0, this is 0, for 0, 1, this is 0 for 1 0 0 and for 1 1 your output is 1. It means if both the uh, switches or the transistor are in on condition then only the output is 1. For all other conditions for 0 0 0 1 if either one switch is off and second one is on then your output uh, will remain uh, 0. Okay. So, Let's start from here. First task is to connect the battery. So you just pick this battery and connect it with the circuit. Okay. So by just clicking on the uh, battery option, uh, you will be able to connect it uh, with the circuit. Now uh, switch 1. So click on switch 1. It is in on state. So this green color shows that there is a flow of current. Now switch 1 and switch, sorry, switch 2 and switch 3. So first uh, I will explain a little bit uh, regarding uh, about this transistor. So this Q1 and Q2. So you please remember that this Q1 transistor, this is NPN transistor. So if you apply, 
so this is n this is p this is also n so if you apply a positive potential across p so you are applying a potential with the help of switch 2 here so if you are applying positive potential here then it will get positive voltage the negative so it will be forward bias and it will behave like a close circuit close means circuit complete so for the complete circuit it will behave as a short circuit short circuit means circuit close okay so your circuit is complete same way for transistor Q2 if your switch 3 is close means on condition then a positive potential at the input negative at the end terminal circuit is closed means transistor behave as a close so it will behave as a short circuit so for 1 and for 1 clear so for 1 1 input for 1 1 input you will get so for 1 1 you will get output 1 so let's try to implement it with the help of the switches so first task is to open the switch 1 that is already open green signal shows that there is a flow of charge carrier now open switch 2 so switch 2 and then open switch 3 and a green signal at the output that shows that you are applying your input 1 at the switch at the transistor Q1 and 1 at transistor Q2 and you will get output 1 ok now uh, first condition A equal to 0 and B equal to 0 so for A equal to 0 and B equal to 0 switch 2 remain off switch 3 remain off so both the switches will remain off no conduction no charge no potential at the input terminal of transistor means you can simply understand it with the help of this so if I am taking transistor like this and this is N P N and I am applying zero potential here so zero voltage will not forward bias this transistor so this transistor or this diode you can say this path will remain off or it will behave as an open circuit so this transistor Q1 and Q2 for input 0 0 will remain off so there is no flow of current then no flow of current means there is no output at the terminal of bulb so same we can verify it for uh, 0 1 so for this you please open one switch and close one switch so switch 2 is now open switch 3 is closed so switch, t, uh, switch 2 is passing the current to transistor Q1 so Q1 is conducting Q2 is not conducting so for 0 1 condition your bulb is off same condition switch 2 is off switch 3 is open now current passing through transistor Q2 not through Q1 but still your bulb is off next we have already covered that is 1 1 so switch 2 switch 3 both are open Q1 and Q2 both are conducting and you will getting your output across the bulb so this is the uh, simulation or the verification of AND gate with the help of resistor transistor logic you will cover this portion in your logic families part and at the same time you can verify if you are not comfortable with this you can verify it with the help of simulator 2 also so in this case you have to apply simple the values that A equal to 0 B equal to 0 and when you click on the button check you will get you will check your output at the 
truth table. So for 0, 0, your output is 0. Click on check, then it is correct. For 0, 1, your output is still 0. Then click on check. For 1, 0, for 1, 0, your output is still 0, then check, then it is in, it is correct. And for 1, 1, your output is 1. So check. If you write for 1, 0, your output is 1, you will get these outputs. So the condition for 0, 0, Output is 0, 0, 1, output is 0, 1, 0, output is 0, and 1, 1, your output is 1. But you have applied input 1, input A is 1, input B is 0, and you know the uh, AND gate output for this condition must be 0, but you applied 1 at the output to check that you are applying uh, right conditions or not. So remark is incorrect. So you can check your conditions simply by putting it across the input and output and you can verify the truth table of AND gate. So in this tutorial we have learned uh, two simulators for the simulation or the verification of truth table of AND gate. You can verify the uh, remaining basic gates or universal gates with the help of uh, this uh, simulator 1 and simulator 2. In next tutorial we will learn the simulation of OR gate. I hope uh, you understand uh, all these points which I have discussed in tutorial. Thank you.